Welcome to the render review for the Seasonal Holidays Blender Challenge. Uh, I run these Blender Challenges on the Zero Bio Discord just for fun and for relative beginners all the way up to, I don't know, maybe advanced users. And uh, every once in a while we start a challenge and we come up with a theme and uh, people model in Blender and then texture in either Blender or Substance Painter or any way they want and then uh, submit a couple of renders of their work and along the way they show their whips and we comment on them and uh, then I make a, a render review video and gosh I've probably done about 30 of these but anyways um, a lot of people were busy over the holidays and didn't get a chance to participate in the challenge so there are not too many entries but I'm going to show you what we have right now all right and the first one of course this is seasonal holidays so whatever you might be celebrating uh, during the month of December and into early January. So here we have Santa Claus, a very tiny Santa Claus, on a rocking chair. So we got a nice wooden texture and a really cool Santa model here and some cloth physics as well on there. And here's another view of Santa waiting for his milk and cookies, reclining because he's an old man now. <laughs> Whatever. Anyhow, very cool. Uh, nice chair too. Okay, this is a wintry snow globe, apparently, with a nice wooden texture here in the globe with some snow and stuff inside there. I know that my son Harry is really enamored with those things. Every time we go to a store and we see them, he wants me to shake them and turn them upside down. So uh, he would certainly like this. Okay, I've got a couple images of this, but very nice uh, snow, probably using the snow uh, add-on in Blender. There is one there that'll put snow on the surface that you designate and there are some parameters you can adjust so if you're looking to do a winter scene like this person did and here's a view in behind the house very cute uh, nice close-up showing the uh, the, uh, the sleigh here and the tree and the various other ob objects in the scene including a shovel there I didn't see that before and I think we have one there just right inside so you can actually see that there's more to this sleigh than meets the eye with a nice uh, metal texture on there and a lantern. I think there's probably one on the other side. And a bunch of things modeled in the back seat as well. So that's cute and nice snow. Nice. All right. And uh, here we have a Christmas scene. Looks like the Rocky Mountains. It could be any mountains in the world. Of course, I lived in Calgary for a while and did some traveling around that area, um, uh, Alberta and BC, and the island, and uh, the mountains were uh, pretty much incredible. Considering I came from Ontario, I'm not in Ontario now, and it was pretty flat, with the exception of the Gatineau Hills over in Quebec. And so, uh, yeah, some nice mountains there, snowy mountains, all the way down to the, the little house there, house on the prairie, <laughs> no, it's not quite the prairies, but little cabin whatever with christmas lights warm interior and the christmas tree even some presents outside for i don't, probably don't have any neighbors that are coming by with a few sparse trees here and there and the fence with some again with some snow on it so really nice scene and of course everybody on the discord was commenting on the effects in the sky looking very nice Okay, now this is um, sort of a, a holiday a table setting, I guess. We've got the carving here at the back, very nice and, and unique. And some really nice uh, glass work done here, uh, as you can see. Um, and uh, I, I say this pretty much every time, but uh, this individual's name is up here, Duster. Um, pretty much works exclusively in, in Blender and does his texturing in Blender and uh, uses a lot of normal maps and uh, so I mean you can see the, the quality of the work if you are good at doing normal maps um, and you might as well practice that because uh, Blender on its own can do some incredible things uh, in the right hands and so here we have the, the candle here we've got the, the glass with the interesting pattern the two of them sort of matching a uh, nice bottle of whatever spirits this person ha is going to be drinking during the holidays or it's just for decoration really nice uh, work here on the on the silver tray and then another sort of double 
double candle there. Okay, so with a nice flame on top, and then of course the wood is 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 just great in the background. So, yeah, and that's the that's the only submission, um, the only angle I believe for this image, but it's really nice work. Just let that sink in for a moment, give you a nice warm feeling. I don't know if it's uh, morning or evening, but uh, it's just a such a nice glow on this. And there's a number of things going on from from the glow, you know, outside and the emissions on the ornaments on the tree, with the presence and open box here, uh, to the sort of the cloth physics going on here, and and in the pillows, when some sculpting or whatever, and some modernish furniture here, with a cute flower, and then the cat looks it looks great, uh, looking out the window. So, uh, and then of course, you know, look at the wood, wood floor, look how nice that is. Um, my feeling is that some of this texturing, or maybe all of it, was done in, in Substance Painter. I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that, but uh, it just goes to show what you can, and what you can do, again, with some knowledge, and it's all doable. These are not, uh, I don't want to put anybody down, say they're not a professional artist, but from my understanding, there's normal people that have worked at their craft for a while and uh, make some nice, uh, nice images. All right, I really like the, the lighting, sort of the backlighting here on the tree as well. So, yeah, looks really, really good. And then, of course, you, you know, we've got the shadows cast on here on the, uh, on the bed sheet. So, yeah, so that would be another one that would fit into the seasonal holidays because of the Christmas tree and just the holidays and looks very relaxing. Um, so now we have, uh, and forgive me for not knowing the history and uh, you know of all, of all these things, but some kind of a of a delivery train, I believe it is, a cute thing I think for kids. I'm not sure, but nice modeling of a um, almost cartoony kind of train and the texturing there. And then I think we're going to have a look uh, on the inside uh, of this thing. We've got a couple of different angles uh, for this. We can start to take a peek inside this. There we go. All right, so let's have a look. I haven't looked too closely at some of these yet, but I am seeing it now with this thing here hanging there. You know, with some, there's definitely some detail there to the the various hinges holding all these these cupboards and uh, pokers and stuff for the fire a nice pillow with some sculpting a scale I'm not sure what the history of this thing is but regardless it seems to fit right in there and then some pictures of the uh, of the uh, you know surroundings I would think or somebody's being nostalgic or wishful and of course, you can see a little bit of out of focus here compared to the rest. So we have some, some depth of focus as well. And another one, again, showing, you know, focusing on the back and not this. And then we've got uh, some posters and stuff, 97, 98, and this thing. So those will probably all have a, have a history here. So interesting hinge work or whatever you would call that to prop the, the door open there. All right, a little bit of dirt in there. All right, so it's not pristine because I guess there's fire burning and stuff like that. And uh, nice detail on the on the scale uh, dial here, and and just the texture of it looking, you know, used and stuff. You can see just a little bit of the fire in there. I think that's what that is. And again, with that depth of focus, making it look like a photograph. And a nice wood texture here and a trim. So cool stuff for sure. Ah, there you go. And now we can see even this thing here. Yeah, a lot to take in, uh, you know, creating a real kind of little little world by having all these objects in there. Nicely done. And this is the Nutcracker, sort of. And you've got the, the, the gingerbread man uh, stealing the, uh, the cookie or the muffin or whatever that is. And they all seem to be chasing him and using their 
candy canes as as spears or swords and there's a couple of arrows here again there's a depth of focus and a, almost a, a blur effect and even santa's upset in the background like hey you stole my cookie or whatever the the story was uh the, the, you can really see some action in in this uh image and these i don't know if they're elves or whatever climbing down going trying to catch him he's got a big grin on his face so it's a really cute image and oh there's another one here blurred so with some blur uh motion blur or uh, you know and and depth of focus it makes sense that these guys are kind of out of focus and we're focusing on uh on this guy look at this arrow it's coming so close yeah there's a there's a lot to this image as well all right and all the signs and other things that are that are that are in the image that you almost overlook because you're you're busy looking at the action but i mean you know, you got all the snow and, and various presents and stuff and Christmas trees. Um, so quite a bit going on in this image. Just really well done. And uh, now we move to, I think, the last few of this where we have the, the spaceship uh, interior. And uh, I had this idea of, uh, of an astronaut. This is not mine uh, here, but I think this person uh, took some inspiration for, from what I was doing. In the video series and then uh, as all, as he always does uh, went off in his own uh, direction with it and so uh, the concept at least in my mind when I was doing it was sort of a, a lone astronaut uh, in a small spacecraft and this is the, the spacecraft spacecraft booth uh, during the holidays far away from uh, family far away from earth uh, maybe even stranded I don't know um, and so this, this person here, he's, uh, seems to be, he's, he's drank a lot. He's drinking his life away out in space. And, uh, yeah, I, I really like the direction that this went in for this person to, uh, to take some of what I was doing and to bring it in a, in a different direction. It's always fascinating for me to see that. And then I usually end up saying, I wish I did it that way, <laughs> but that's just the way it goes. All right. So. Yeah, that's really good. I think I've got one more of the of the booth. Yeah, some very nice uh, texturing and modeling uh, on here. The metal against the orange uh, or light, light brown uh, color scheme looks looks fantastic. All right. So uh, and then uh, then there's there's my images, and I showed these in the uh, final video of my series again of of the booth this is uh, how it uh, turned out for me and uh, again to connect it to seasonal holidays unless you knew the story of the spaceman sort of on his own uh, for me it was um, having a few items so for example uh, you probably can't see it well here the star of david picture of my family uh, the dreidels this is all part of hanukkah a hanukkah card with the you know the candle thing the menorah on there so that's the connection to the seasonal holidays, sort of lonely seasonal holidays. And I'll just quickly skim through these. So you can see what mine was like. And uh, in, this, in the video series, uh, I modeled much of this, not everything, but much of it, and showed you some of the texturing. And then, like I say, the participant just before this took those ideas and just went in, in their own direction, but just with the concept of the space booth and, and some of the equipment. All right, so just flying through now, you can see the Star of David and the and the um, the uh, fuel tanks down there and the various things. So I showed you how I modeled uh, a lot of this, and of course when I do the video series too, um, I sometimes tend to keep it a little bit more simple because I'm doing it on camera and I don't want to make tons of mistakes, and if people are following, and so uh, my design isn't uh, necessarily uh, the most complex. Or as complex as it could be, I suppose, if I was just doing it on my own over, I don't know, the challenge is usually a couple of weeks, a few, two or three weeks. And if you're doing it on your own, you can take your time and, and do whatever. But if you're doing it on video, it's uh, you know, kind of on the spot. So, But I didn't do everything uh, on video. I did some of it on my own anyhow. But that, my friends, is the end of the render review. So we had about five participants, okay, which isn't bad. Now, some of the previous challenges we had a lot. And like I say, people are busy and uh, 
you know, we, they can't always get to it. But we will do another blender challenge soon, uh, maybe in another few weeks. And I, I do hope you'll come by for that, either just watching the videos or maybe you'll think about participating just for fun. Uh, of course, it's open to beginners and uh, you can do simple stuff. You can do complicated stuff, you know, model and blender texture any way you like and submit some renders. And there will be a link uh, to the Zero Bio Discord if you haven't been there before and you want to see what's coming up. We've got stuff for Blender, mostly Blender. And uh, there is some stuff for Substance Painter and a little bit for Substance Designer. And uh, all of that stuff will grow over time. It's not an overly serious thing, although there's a few part, uh, members, I should say, who are there all the time. I'm, I'm only there. I drop by every day or so, but... Uh, I, I don't uh, police it very much. The other guys kind of take care of that. and uh, But I am there uh, and looking to see what you do and commenting all the time. And uh, so you're welcome to come by there if you uh, you want a, another little cozy place to show your Blender work or see what uh, other people are doing. All right, so I do hope you'll think about joining the next Blender Challenge. I've got some ideas, but I won't give them away right now. We're going to go on and do more stuff on the YouTube channel, and we'll get back to this soon. So thank you very much for those of you who participated in the challenge. Um, I love your work, and I would like to see more. And uh, we will uh, we'll keep it going, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.